The scripture reading this morning is taken from the book of Romans, verse, verses 1 through 11. <clears throat> Pardon me. The book of Romans, verses 1 through 11. Now, Betty, I owe you an apology. I told you I was reading from the New International Version, and I am. But the difference is that I didn't note is it says it's today's New International Version. So it's basically the same, but a few words will be different. My apologies. Again, Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. <clears throat> Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the sinful nature, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of humanity to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin in human flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the sinful nature but according to the spirit. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires. But those who live according to the, in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind controlled by the sinful nature is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those controlled by the sinful nature cannot please God. You, however, are not controlled by the sinful nature, but are in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if the Spirit is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Amen. This is the word of the Lord, and in his word is life everlasting. <clears throat> 